90 degrees as we get you set for the late afternoon start here in Atlanta. A pitcher's delight. 30-year-old Max Freed, the ace of the Braves, against the young stud, 22-year-old Paul Skeens of the Pittsburgh Pirates. We've talked about how good he's been. 7-0 and in his last eight starts against the National League Central. He's been really good against Pittsburgh here at home, so just keep doing what you're doing. Well, Freed looks just fine. What a start. Three pitches, and down goes Andrew McCutcheon. Ooh, that had a little cheese on it, didn't it? Like that one. Woo. Good location on that heater. And now Brian Reynolds working on a 24 game hitting streak. A little swinging bunt. Freed gets to it. Throws him out at first. Six pitches, all strikes, two outs. There's a reason he's a gold glove defender. Great athlete. And it's always a tough play, Joe, for pitchers to come off that side of the mound and then throw to first base. But that was barely up the third base line. That was a long way for him to go. Two down for Connor Joe. No score in the top of the first inning. And a line drive base hit. One of the best hitters at upper velocity in baseball. And he's on with a two out single. Here is Edward Olivares. Walked him. Close pitch. Single walk after he got the first two. And now Nick Gonzalez. And a ground ball out to Ozzie. He's on the other end, has it perfectly, throws over to first base, and there's out number three. So Freed avoids any damage on the scoreboard. No runs, one hit, no errors, and two men left. We head to the bottom of the first inning. Skeen's making his ninth big league start. Making his ninth start of the year. He's 4 0 with a 2 1 4. 46 and a third. One ball and one strike to Kelnick, hitting a 278 lefty batter with eight home runs. Kelnick turns on this and sends it to the chop house. Greeting Paul Skeens pretty rudely. It's one to nothing Atlanta. Jared says, I got something for you. And it's one nothing Atlanta on his ninth homer of the year. There you go, Max. Here's Ozzie Albies. Showing his power, Ozzie Albies, meanwhile, finds a little green grass in the outfield. So Paul Skeens comes in with all the hype, but so far, the Atlanta bats ready for the challenge. Now Skeens will have to face the National League RBI leader in Marcelo Zuna. Bounce toward third. Nice play, Hayes. There's one, and there is two. Even better. They go around the horn. Five, four, three equals two. And again, you know, the quick feet of Key Brian Hayes it makes that look so easy. Here's Matt Olson with the bases empty. One nothing Atlanta. There we go. There we go. That's what we're used to seeing. A little swing and miss strike three right there. Well, that's three hits allowed by Freed, but all three have been singles. Right now Michael A. Taylor will climb in. And he's down quickly. Four seamer in on his hands. Two strikeouts for Max. And back to the top for McCutcheon. McCutcheon hits one in the air to center field. Jared Kelnick backpedals. Boy, he just about misread that one. But he was able to make up proper ground, started in, then out through the glove up, had to leap up into the air and squeeze down number three. So with the second straight inning, the Pirates ran two men aboard. We head to the bottom of the second. Nice quick couple of outs for Skeens after a long first, and now Forrest Wall will bat. There we go. Goes to it there and gets him. Second strikeout, one, two, three for Skeens. One nothing Atlanta through two. Adam Duvall will lead it off against Paul Skeens of the Pirates. One nothing Atlanta. Could not hold up. On a big sweeping slider, third strikeout for Skeens. Ozzie takes the walk, and Skeens missed outside with a splitter. So after back to back walks, that'll load the bases for Marcelo Zuna. Hit hard, nice play. Triolo gonna turn that into a double play. How about that? Jared Triolo. Over at short, hard smash, 6-4-3, double play. Braves one, Pirates nothing. Into the top of the fourth inning as Key Brian Hayes leads off for Pittsburgh. Take a hike. Swings and misses at a curveball. Third strike out of the ball game for Max Freed. So looking to finish off his first one, two, three inning of the ball game. Weak ground ball to short. Marcia has got it. And he will send it to first base and down they go one, two, three. Good inning for Max Freed. Sips right through him. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning. One nothing Braves. And Skeens struck out Olsen the first time around. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Skeens. He has fanned Olsen both times today. Four strikeouts overall. Back to back singles for Riley and Darno. The Braves in business again. Been a lot of traffic out there versus Skeens. Braves did a good job getting on base. Now it's Forrest Wall up to the plate. Struck him out with that fastball. Five K's, second time he's gotten Forrest Wall. Here's Adam Duvall. 0-1, popped up, first base side, foul ground for Connor. Joey's got to play, and he'll make the catch. And Skeens gets out of trouble. Two hits, 
Two men left. The fifth coming up from Atlanta. First two men have reached for the Pirates. Second walk issued by Max Fried. Pirates are in business for the heart of their order and the red hot Brian Reynolds who has hit in 24 straight but 0 for 2 today. Weekly to Orlando. He charges. Reynolds runs well but not well enough. It does, however, move two into scoring position. So tying run at third, potential go-ahead run at second. And now here's Connor Joe. Joe takes ball four high and away. He missed with that slider. That fills the bases. Olivares is coming up. Olivares has walked and singled. He lifts this one to right. Taylor will tag. Duval will fire toward third base. And the sacrifice fly. Has tied the game at one. Olivares lifts it to right, brings home Taylor. Not game changing, but game tie. Now Nick Gonzalez with a two out chance, first and second. Swing and a miss, got him with a hook. And Max is out of the jam, but not before the Pirates tie it up. Kelnick at second with two men gone for Ozuna. That's more ideal. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Him 98 again, and he strikes out Ozuna. A man left for Atlanta. Tie ball game, a run of pieces will go to the sixth. So Hayes now in scoring position. Taylor lifts this deep to right. Duvall is going back at the wall. He's got it. What a catch. Wow. And that keeps us tied at one apiece, and it gets freed through six. Normally it's a Cooney out there, but Duvall doing his thing and keeping this a tie ball game. Matt Olsen leads it off for Atlanta. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Down and in with a breaking ball. One out. Now Austin Riley. Base hit his last time. Yes, he does. That's number eight. And he has struck out three in a row going back to the last out of the fifth. Now Darno trying to strike out the side. Skeens. Swing and a foul tip. Struck him out. Skeens strikes out the side in the sixth. He has struck out nine Atlanta Braves this afternoon. Six innings in the books, and the day is over for Max Fried. Six innings, six hits, one run, three walks, four strikeouts. He'll depart with a 1-1 tie, and Pierce Johnson will come on and work for Atlanta in the seventh inning. First pitch to him. He swings at a fly ball to deep right field. Adam Duvall get a drift, squares up to it in deep right, and one down. That ball parachutes into his glove for the first out here in the inning. One down for Brian Reynolds, who is 0 for 3. Got him looking. Punched him out with a fastball. Reynolds now 0 for 4 of the ball game. And two down here in the seventh inning. O'Neill Cruz up to the plate to pinch hit for Connor Joe. And now a pitch timer violation has been called on Cruz. And that's strike three. And Pierce gets the strikeout without even having to throw the next pitch. So Cruz too slow. Remember in a ball game versus the Braves earlier this year, he was jerked out of the game for lack of hustle. And this time he wasn't ready, and that ends the top of the seventh. Carmen Majinski tries to keep this a tie game. 3 2 again, and bouncer on the second, ranging to his right. Gonzalez picks, throws, got him. Good play by Nick Gonzalez. One out, and Adam Duvall coming up. At least five days rest between starts as a fly ball. Taylor. Duvall is out number two. Two outs, and Arcia coming up. Weak pop up. Cruz puts it away. One, two, three for Carmen Majinski. So it is Rice out of Glacius. Obviously not a safe situation with it being 1 1, but Brian Snitker is going to turn to his closer here in the ninth inning. Might be the last chance for Brian Reynolds to extend his 24 game hitting streak. He's 0 for 4. Drive to right. Did he get enough of it to the wall? Duvall approaching the fence. Off the wall! He's got the hit streak at 25, and it's going to be a trip, trip, triple. Ball gets away. He holds on. Brian, Brian Reynolds. Reynolds triples to extend his hitting streak to wow. 25 consecutive games. Off the wall and right. And a flare for the dramatic, Greg. Not only does he wait to his last at bat in the ninth inning, this felt like it stayed up in the air for 37 seconds. They intentionally walk O'Neal Cruz, and now Edward Olivares after the intentional walk to Cruz. Swinging bunt. Iglesias has it. Accurate throw, and he gets out of it. And now he can smile about it. Look at all that PFP coming into play. <laughs> <laughs> into the top of the 10th inning. It's a 1-1 ball game. New pitcher for the Braves is right-hander Daysbo Hernandez. Last time we saw him was in Chicago a couple of days ago. Nick Gonzalez, 0 for 3 with a walk. 
Ground ball, Orlando ranging to his left to take it. That does move Olivares to third. That'll bring up Cabrian Hayes, who's had another good day. Infield will come in. Up and in into the backstop. It comes back to Travis, and the uh, tag at the plate is not in time. Hernandez was late getting there. Travis made the toss, but where Hernandez caught it was way out in front of the plate. He tried to reach down and tag Olivares, but it appeared to be too late. The Braves want another look at it. I thought he got the tag on the helmet before he got to the plate. Did you? Oh my goodness, they may have gotten him. Upon review, the call in the field's overturned. The runner is... Wow. Oh, -ho! doesn't get much bigger than that. And a wild pitch turns into Atlanta's best friend, making good plays. And now Hernandez gets Hayes. He's fired up. He should be. So now we go to the bottom of the 10th inning. The Braves afforded a runner at second. That's Luke Williams and Kyle Nicholas will come on and he has to put up a zero. Otherwise the Braves will walk off and win. And here's Adam Duvall. Hits this to right center. This should do it. It will do it. It's all the way to the wall. Williams is coming home and Atlanta walks it off. Game winner walk off for Adam Duvall. Braves win two.